Zapotito on Salinas, where the white gold is born. Presented by Martinez Paz Angélica, Sara Abia Hernández, Nancy Valentina, and Vázquez Uribe, Laura Gabriela. Just a few hours from Mexico City and in the heart of the Tehuacan, we got land beyond for a result in Zapotitlan Salinas, a practically unitist community that stretches between the states of Puebla and Oaxaca. Here are 17 browsers counting toward the Miranal South, named after the process that has taken place in the area for more than 2,000 years. But what is this white gold? Salt, sodium chloride, is an essential part of the white, but because of the importance of its regulated functions in the body's fluids, and because of its role in the body's physical processes. Salt is an ionic component formed by a combination of chloride and sodium ions. CLMMA house in a coding crystalline structure. The chemical name of the common salt is sodium chloride and LCL. How do these walkers? During the rain season, water froze to the months and fields and all way. Then during the whole months of the year, March, April and May, the real growth begins. The water from the walls is placed in the small plants and lot and left in the sun, transforming into the crystals that we know are salt. This process is perfect planes on the same stem terraces. The first one generates and develops salt for humans, and the second one extracts the salt used for cards. What's its origin? More than 60 million years ago, the rugged desert terrain of the area was an arm of the sea, which allows the extraction of salt. Salt and communal economy. To support production and at the same time promote tourism, there are paid tours of the place. Also, small vendors are trying to innovate in the salt market, adding special seasonings or making exfoliating products. Since 2014, these salt pans have been part of the Slow Food Initiative, which supports different productions around the world that are in danger of extinction. In the case of Las Salinas, it aims to improve the income of families that depend economically on salt production, to maintain the tradition behind the product, and to encourage the participation of new generations. Several Mexican chefs have also joined the preservation of Zapotitlan salt, including Edgar Nunez, Juan Pablo Inés, and Alan Sanchez Guzman. An analysis carried out by Universidad Tecnológica de Tehuacán show that the salt produced in Zapotitlan Salinas is low in sodium, since it only has 35% of it, and is rich in 200 minerals, such as zinc, potassium, calcium, among others. The producers of the pre Hispanic salt will take advantage of this study, since it will give them nutritional information with which they will be able to search for a better market. Not to mention, the state government will also provide support so the producers can place the salt in the local and even foreign gourmet and organic market. Even if the progress and growth of this millennial practice seems slow, the number of producers of salt in Zapotitlan Salinas Puebla has increased considerably in the last years, indicating a promising future for the community. <laughs>